Hey everybody, welcome to Rosy Dozzy's Life. Today I will be making butter cookies. These cookies will be in the shape of hearts and spelled out in the different letters of L-O-V-E. Butter cookies made out of love. A very quick and easy cookie four ingredient recipe. I'm going to start with just whipping some butter here and I'm going to start adding in the sugar. This is the part you have to be very, very patient on because the sugar in the butter needs to be well incorporated to where it gets really fluffy. Just let it continue to mix, 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 because it should end up looking like this here. So very light and fluffy. This is going to be a very light and delicious cookie. We're slowing it down so we can start incorporating the flour. This recipe has absolutely no eggs. You also have to be very patient with this part of it because of the flour. You have to go really slow with it because you wanna make for sure that it's well incorporated so the cookies will continue to be light, very light and fluffy. Just add the flour in, spoonfuls at a time. See how it's coming off of the walls a little bit here? but we still haven't added our vanilla extract. So we got to add that in here. Because this is almost done with the blending part. All right, it's time for me to add the vanilla now. Just let that mix on in and then we'll continue with the rest of the flour. I mean, you can add your vanilla in with the butter and sugar, or you can add it in when it's smooth like this with the flour, butter, and sugar. It will not mess up the recipe. We are almost there. Do you see how it's pulling away now from the bowl? Because this actually will make it uh, make its own self into a ball. Please don't skimp on these ingredients. Make sure it's measured out to the exact. Because if you have too much flour or too much sugar, it will mess up. So now I'm just gonna scrape the bowl down. As you can see, it's just flour, like pockets of flour at the bottom there. And we do not want that. Please comment down below if this recipe helps you. And if it do, can you please go back to my page, like my page, share, and subscribe to my page. And if possible, can you hit the bell so you'll get all notifications on whenever I go live and whenever I have new videos, you will be notified. And don't forget, please, tell your friends about Rozzy Dozzy's life and let them know what your girl doing on this page. 
See how it's becoming into a ball, you guys? It's almost done. There it is. That's the ball. See? It is ready. Look at the consistency. It's not wet and it is, it is not dry either. It's perfect. See, it's not even sticky. Very delicious cookie mix. And very easy. Four ingredients, come on, are you serious? It's the best. Okay, so our dough is ready. We have all of our little stencils. We have the rolling pin, which we really don't need, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna try to use it anyway. But we're just gonna go on ahead and get our dough ready to be stenciled. We're gonna shape this thing. So we'll see if we can use our hands. We can just flatten it out with our hands. We don't have to use the rolling pin. But your hands is sufficient for this. The best tools God gave you, right? Okay, so now we're just going to place them down so we can just look at them for a second and see how much dough we would have extra. So we can see how many we can get out of this. So now I'm just going to press it down just to make the imprints of the letters. Shake it a little bit. This one right here was difficult. The O with that little heart in the middle. Oh my God, that gave me so many problems. But I made it work as best I could. And then we're just going to make a couple of hearts as well. And then we're just going to put them on the pan to get them baked off. And here they are. Yeah, they swole up a little bit. I was expecting that. But I have decorations for these delicious cookies. All right, since the cookies are done, I chose a heart to start decorating with. I'm just using some of the melting chocolate that I melted by way of double boiler just to go on ahead and get this thing started. This is a very smooth and easy chocolate to deal with as well. And try to get it as close as you can to the edge. And if not, hey, just put some sprinkles on there. <laughs> it's a good, good little snack dessert here. That's what I call it, a snack dessert. So good. And you can choose whatever candies you like. M&M's, Reese's. I mean, it's endless. Don't forget, you can also use sprinkles. And if you have little children, like little people who want to help, let them come on in. They can make their own little cookies. This is the fun part. But the best part is the eating. <laughs> yes, they are delicious. See, I'm putting a little heart on there. Sprinkles are real fun. You can just throw them, boom, and wherever they land is where they land. We're gonna go ahead and knock this V out. It's just so fun. I mean, I'm not gonna do them all on camera. I'm just gonna show you guys a few of them just to show you how fun it is. Look at them, look at that E. We got some M&Ms on there and some mini chocolate chips. Please comment down below if this cookie dough turned out great for you as it did for me. And I thank you all for your time and I plan to see you all on the next video. And I want you guys to please stay safe. And don't forget to wash your hands, please, okay? And leave your shoes at the door. All right, y'all. Until next time, I'll see you all on the next video. I'm out. Enjoy.